Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video we are going to be modeling this garden wire mesh. Uh, let's start. Uh, firstly we create a part, new part, and in the front plane a uh, sketch. Uh, as always, firstly I'm putting my construction line and then I'm creating my sketch. Yes, something like this, and with 10 millimeter radius on the top, and then I create one more construction line here, and one on the bottom, and we just make tangent line and radius with control mouse, but uh, control button of uh, our keyboard, and then I am making with this point point line a symmetric relationship and our line ending here and let's put this in the constant yes this will be 90 degree this as well and here I will make a 45 also here yes everything is fine yeah the only size is not there I will make this size is 100 millimeter it's a pitch then we have around 41 millimeter uh, size and mesh gap and uh, after we create this we now uh, adding some extra uh, planes first in this point I have a plane and after in this point I have one more plane here we go create a ellipse which is in this center and we are making coincidence on this uh, point and the height is 13 millimeter and then we put a line in the middle and we send the unnecessary side first is this the second going to be here same operation we create a ellipse and then point point while I'm pressing my uh, control button on my uh, keyboard I'm adding relationship and here I'm going to give 13 millimeter uh, height and then in the middle a uh, construction geometry and then sending unnecessary part uh, yes, our uh, sketches are ready. Now we can create our uh, project curve. The yes, in fact, uh, I missed something. I should create this curve in two line, in two time because before I was uh, trying to make I get some problems I don't wanna have it again that's why I somehow divide my uh, profile first one is done the second one I am again taking this line and converting and sending this unnecessary part and we can hide the first one and then again a project curve exactly as you see we get it after this point everything going to be much more simpler the most important thing to gain the first uh, curve 
In fact, the thing that, that we did here it is creating a 3D sketch by using two profile in two different plane. The idea of project curve is basically that, and with two uh, curve, I made a composite curve which is combined the two curve, and then we create a plane. somewhere here uh, for a uh, 5 mm diameter uh, circle and then I select my curve and my center point and say pierce and then as you see it is fully defined and uh, after this point we just make swap uh, and choosing my profile and the path and everything is ready we can hide composite curve and now in this direction we are going to uh, a linear pattern on the right plane 100 mm was the our page from here to here and uh, we are going to make a body exactly we send it our body and uh, the but 16 time going to uh, be uh, multiplied uh, exactly we have 16 and now under the features uh, we have a combine and with combine we are going to combine whole bodies and then I have a one uh, wire with uh, our shape and after this point the only thing we are going to make a uh, linear pattern and combined body linear pattern on this direction we are going to make a linear pattern this is just one time and two times sorry and this 50 millimeter because our uh, pitch was uh, 100 millimeter, and after this, we just say OK our program, and then we are going to use now a, a move, which is this, and we are going to place with this common this. Uh, uh, this comment on the area where we want it is on the y direction and basically 35 I'm making now in fact we should measure it exactly to be sure what is the uh, dimension there but for now it's okay and as you see we, we have been replacing by just copying and moving the, uh, our body and then I select my two body now here and in the front plane so, uh, I select again my bodies and the direction will be the other side and our uh, dimension was 37 37 multiplied by 2 74 and now we can uh, increase the number of copies how much we want I will make also 16 in this direction because we will make some trims also after and uh, we are waiting uh, yes I'm using an old program, old computer, and it's a little bit slow. Sorry for that. And exactly, uh, we we made it, and now uh, we are going to make uh, trims, and after that, uh, our body will be ready, our part will be ready, and I wanna uh, choose this point.
exactly this point can be a nice place for trim exactly even the center yes uh, for trim area it is the first uh, this line and I'm just trying to find my front plane and under after front plane I'm choosing a plane and this line and then I have here a vertical plane and with this plane I'm going to make cut surface direction will be at the other side and I'm saying my plane cut my part which is passing through this plane on the side if I am making this arrow at the other side probably I'm going to cut for me this area you will uh, quickly see that exactly we send it unnecessary area and now the second will be for here same construction geometry reference geometry and then the first is our front plane and second is our line then with cut surface arrow is looking the right side I don't change it uh, already we have it I think Problem generating yes uh, finally we have it and I hope uh, it is a, a helpful video for you guys uh, the methods that we are using here we are using also in surface commands it is looking like a very simple model but in fact you should get the sense of uh, the idea like how you are going to create that profile with a, a, a project curve I have been seeing before they are creating that equal equation but the equation not giving this perfect uh, shape inside this is a 90 degree fully square I have been seeing uh, some equations which is not giving the same uh, square uh, shape uh, I hope you can also do by copying my steps what I did here